Right, <clears throat> back on this one. I've spent a couple of hours on this today, altering the 10p payout so it takes some new coins because this is going to an arcade in my head when I'm doing a machine swap. So I thought I'd do this, I'll, I'll link it to the to the owner and the, the head to her tech and that, who I'm doing the deal with. I've sleeved the tube with another tube to stop the 10 p's so the 10p's can't sort of fall over the side. I've done that. I actually bothered someone's um, hot glue gun. I'm, I'm going to get one. I've never seen one before. I never knew they existed. Because I put the the, um, the smaller tube inside the big tube, it kept sliding into the bottom and the machine wouldn't pay out. It kept getting stuck with the uh, payout solenoid. So I just went to a guy who's, who's down there and I said, oh, have you got any glue? Just thinking they have some Gorilla glue. And he said, oh, I've got a hot glue gun. I was like, never seen one. Honestly, I've never seen one. I'm getting one. <laughs> I'm getting one. They said, just yeah, plug it in for five minutes and the glue stick sticks out the end. And I put some around the... Uh, the tube that was sliding in slid it in stuck straight away absolutely magnificent so now it's fine it's, it took me a bit of messing about with the coin mech um i've also took the magnet out luckily it screws in yeah i've took the magnet out so these are the i've got some new ones and some of the older but obviously the small tempies so good start isn't it good start <laughs> it was perfect a minute ago <laughs> oh god, it was absolutely spot on a minute ago. Oh, there you go. Yeah, these things are never. The trouble is, you're going from a much bigger, fatter coin to a small coin. Um, <laughs> right, and I've already put some in the tube, so this should be 20p. Oh, oh you've got to, oh, you got to press it again. There you go, two tempies. That's the joys of these things, isn't it? Yeah, when I was trying to before the video, those, every one was like that. I think it's going to be one of them, isn't it? I mean, it seems to be maybe it's less fussy with the older type. Yeah. just spent like <clears throat> at least half an hour in and out in and out in and out with it yeah 20 p but like i say you're going from a coin that's massively heavy to a coin that's got virtually no weight at all i do the best i can oh we got 50 p And they are going in the tube. The odd one goes down the, the back. I'll show you that when I bring the machine. It's so it's going to be one of them. You're just going to have to mess about with it a bit, I guess. I mean, it's an old machine. This is the original Tempe uh, sort of input there. It seems to be less fussy with the, with the older type than the, with the uh, newer shiny ones. Although, like I say, I have took the magnet out because that was actually stopping them going in at all. It's always a bit of a shame to put these on new coins, in my opinion, but I realise it's going to be in a, a working arcade, so... <clears throat> And as I said on the phone, you might have to, you might, oh, there you go, three nudges. Sometimes it does uh, press up. I think you might have to cut, <clears throat> cut, a, cut a link off the nudge hold timer. Because it is a, a little bit generous. It's, but it's, that's all right for home use, a bit generous, but in an arcade situation, 
I know they've got to earn their keep kind of thing. I will have another mess about with this. I'll see if I can get it to take the shiny ones as well. Oh yeah, of course, it, it locks out. It's only one coin entry, this thing. Yeah, it seems to be... Don't seem to like them. I'll have to find out why they're the same size. I just thought so. Mm, just one of those things, I don't know. The trouble is with these, you can, oh, you can you can mess about with these all day long, a little bit here, a little bit there. And it's obviously going to be more suited to the older type 10p. It's a nice machine, that. But the wind lines up here, remember, not down here. Two. And nudge up. Once you've pressed that, you're committed to nudging up. Yeah, it's not taking them at all, is it? Right. Oh, it's just took one then. Anyway. That's probably as near as I'm going to get it. Like I said, I've just spent about two hours messing about. So it's on new coins, ready to go. I'll do a last video of this before. It's another two or three weeks, three weeks I think, before this goes. So. Yeah, it tastes them like butter. Trouble is though, if I alter that coin mech to take the shiny ones a little bit, it might not take these sort of, uh, end up taking none of them. I'm amazed that they activate the micro switch though, because they're so light compared to the old Tempe. Yeah, they don't like the shiny ones at all. But there you go. Try and flick them in. I'll have a look around in a minute. Anyway, I'll have another couple of them in. <clears throat> oh! Five nudges, which way shall I go? Up or down? We'll go up. One, two, three. No, but we've got a safety valve. Anyway, there you go. Up and down nudge on new 10 P's, but not so much the shiny ones. Uh, Yep. Have fun. <laughs>